Warner's orientation consists of uh, classroom, uh, your medical, you get a uh, drug screen, uh, piss test. Skitty. Skitty. Charlie. Charlie. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna lie, y'all could bash me if y'all want. Whoever took my crates, I hope your mother fall down the stairs. I hope she fall down the stairs and break every bone in her body. Facts. All right, so somebody asked me what it's like to um, park at a store and sleep at the store. Um, basically, what you're gonna do is, if you're not comfortable, um, if you're not comfortable, if you're not comfortable parking in the back of the store, you could park in front of the store. It'll be easier for you if you feel uncomfortable or unsafe. If you feel unsafe in any way, don't. I don't think this job is for you. But um, as far as parking, what I do is I find a safe spot. Um, if I'm able to park, if I'm able to back up into the spot, then I back up into the spot and then I just, uh, that's why I sleep for the night. But um, as far as parking, I find a safe spot either before I back up or I back up into the dock. So right now, this is where I'm at, right? This is the space that I have. I parked here for the night. And the dock is, the dock is right here. The door is right there. This is the store and this is the dock. Docks right here. So basically, I could just align my truck this way. I'm gonna be in the road, but it's pretty much a straight back from that angle. You know I'm saying, but you just really gotta find a safe spot, either in the front of the store, or in the back of the store, or on the side of the store, or on the dock of the store to park. Wherever you feel safe or comfortable, that's where you want to park. You know what I'm saying? You just don't want to park anywhere. Um, some places are iffy than others, but um, just find a safe spot. Uh, lock your doors. Put the seat belt around the door and lock it. You know what I'm saying? To be safe if you feel uncomfortable. But pretty much the best places to park when you get to the store is really on the side of the store, on the dock if it's any space, or in the front of the store if you feel uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much that's what it is. You know what I mean? Some of you guys got some questions about Warner and want to know um, orientation, the workflow and stuff like that. So so basically Warner orientation. Warner orientation consists of um, about seven days. Uh, you get like three days of paperwork, classroom. Um, you get uh, a day for your back end. See if you know how to um, do a 45 degree and a 90 degree um, back end. You also gotta do Smith System. Smith System is uh, training your brain to look for necessary things. Not so much of the unnecessary things, such as like um, signs that says, you know, somebody performing or stuff like that. So basically you're just gonna be looking for signs that says uh, the truck height, like 13.6, 13.7, uh, the traffic flow, your following distance. Um, if somebody's gonna cut you off like necessary things that you know when you're driving on the road you're supposed to be looking for as a trucker because as a trucker you never know what you're gonna get yourself into so the Smith system again is basically just you training yourself what's around you, you know what I'm saying when you're driving you just gotta continuously speak and say like oh my speed limit is this much the speed limit is this much my following distance is this much. If you about to merge or you about to signal or you about to slow down, anything you do, you just have to repeat it. 
orientation orientation is uh basically seven days you have like maybe three days of classroom paperwork um you got to do your medical you have to do um a piss test and a hair follicle test so those who think they could pass the piss test and voila that's not gonna happen you got to make sure you're clean for roughly six plus months or you're just gonna get disqualified um especially your hair they're gonna take hair follicle from your hair your arms your legs wherever they need to you know what i'm saying so warner's orientation consists of a uh, classroom uh, your medical, you get a uh, drug screen, uh, piss test, and hair follicle. You also need um, back in. You need a 45 degree angle back in. You need a 90 degree angle. You also have to do your um, your pre trip, your air brake test, um, your walk around, your in cab. Um, after you pass your medical, your physical, and everything, you got to wait for a trainer. Uh, sometimes it takes a couple of days, sometimes it takes a week, it may take a month if anybody is available, you know what I'm saying? If you are interested in Warner and you have any experience, hit me up, uh, uh, use me as a referral. But uh, like I said, man, the orientation consists of everything. You just gotta prepare yourself for roughly a month, maybe two months on um, vacation, basically. So gang, if I ain't said anything, or oh, didn't say anything, just let me know in the comments. You're be out here, gang. My boy, my boy. Trainee here, man. Nah, I ain't letting you in, bro. Out of here. What up, sir? Hello, my boy. Gang, listen. I be trying to get the best backs for y'all, man. But sometimes circumstances don't let me get that. You feel me? So look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I had to pull up in the middle of the road. Jackknife. All the way on this. I almost ran over you, bro. Almost ran over you. That's crazy. My man going couple. He about to go couple to that trailer right there. Blue one. <laughs> nah, he about to couple to Family Dollar right now. <laughs>